A new initiative to address racial inequities in health care in Minnesota receives a boost in funding. This is all part of the new Dignity in Pregnancy and Childbirth Act, which was recently passed by state lawmakers. Fox 9's BC Nilly Erie joining us live in our studios here with more on this, BC. Kelsey and Amy, racism and bias in the health care system creates disproportionate barriers to high quality care. The University of Minnesota Center for Anti Racism Research for Health Equity is really working to close racial gaps. You know, we are, um, you know, the only industrialized nation that has a rise in maternal mortality rate right now. And in Minnesota, maternal and infant health inequities are alarming. Black women in the state are over twice as likely, and indigenous women are four times more likely to die during or after pregnancy than their white counterparts. Right, right now, what we're seeing, what maternal mortality and morbidity and infant mortality mean is that we're leaving families without the ability to thrive. Dr. Rachel Hardiman is director of the U's Center for Anti-Racism Research for Health Equity, which was established earlier this year. The big goal, right, is that every mom and every baby, despite their racial background, despite who they are, where they come from, despite their socioeconomic status, has the same access to high quality um, health care. Dr. Hardiman's research fueling the passage of the new Dignity and Pregnancy and Childbirth Act. The center will receive nearly $300,000 in new funding. It's funding that will go towards creating a model curriculum for anti-racism and implicit bias training in hospitals and birthing centers around the state. It's an initiative that could ultimately save lives. This training is an important starting point for, you know, dismantling some of the systems and structures that have continued to create inequities in maternal and infant health across the life course. And this new law is again based on research indicating that over half of maternal deaths are preventable. The Dignity and Pregnancy and Childbirth Act was authorized by Representative Ruth Richardson and Senator Patricia Torres Ray. Amy. All right.